These new plants are harvestable, but nonetheless it gives an idea here of the, the overall commitment and the overall project. So it took one more year compared to where when we wanted to first launch the product last year, but it gives you an idea of why it took a little bit more time when we realized that just to connect with the people to do the harvest, the cell phone doesn't work, and then a few other things we just realized, wait a minute here, we just need to really make sure that when we start, that processing chain, that supply chain, uh, really works very well. So here's a little bit what the data is looking like. This is what we got from these pellets. So one dose is normally three of these pellets. So we went back in the lab, gave three pellets to people, and we counted the number of stem cells. What you see down there is the curve that we used to have with AFA. Now, a good way of having an idea of how many stem cells are released in the bloodstream after the consumption of something, you look at the curve, on the, the area under the curve. So see the curve here and look at what is under the, the, the curve and look at the dark line with the pellets and see what you have under the curve. And keep in mind that three hours, the number of stem cells are still increasing. So we, all we can say here, we cannot quantify because it keeps going. All we can say is the amount of stem cells released in the bloodstream are far, far in excess from what we had originally with stem and ends. But we also have another thing with the product, is that as we started to look for other types of stem cells, we also found that they also, this the alumacroclada also trigger, supports the release of what we call endothelial progenitor cells. These are cell, stem cells that have already started to specialize into one area, and it's to make new blood vessels. And it's something that we all know that we need good blood supply, good blood circulation. We all know this. Nevertheless, it's something that we very rarely talk about. A product like Stem Flow is still today a unique product on the marketplace. S s proper blood circulation in capillaries is absolutely paramount for your health. If you, don't, if you don't have good capillary circulation in your organs, you cannot nourish all the cells with nutrients, oxygen, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, new cells to repair, immune cells, you need good circulation. That's what these cells are doing. Whenever they circulate in your body, if they find a tissue that is lacking proper oxygen supply, they settle there and they develop new capillaries. <coughs> so it's very, very important for sustaining, supporting optimal health in the body. Now, I don't have this data to share here right now, but we did way more than, than just that data. By the way, this data right now has been written for publication and the paper was accepted yesterday. So this should be published in the literature fairly soon. Now all this data, the reason why we don't publish all this data, I'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow, is that we're also lumping into this into a fairly big research project that is a multi-center project in many countries uh, that is going to, to, to test about six to 800 people. Uh, and with that data, we can file claims in the EU, elsewhere in the world, a claim that will be like this product, SC3, supports glucose metabolism, vascular health, whatever the data that we, that we develop through stem cell release. And if we have this data based on non-published data, non-published information, then we get an exclusive in certain countries on that claim for a number of years so that we could be, for a number of years, the only product who can have that kind of claim. So we're keeping some of that data unpublished. But we did more than just testing these pellets. Knowing how these pellets, the, these little pills were made, we essentially derived other extracts of alumacroplata that we tested in the lab. And what we have right now with a dose that is about half of what these three pellets were, we have data that brings us with an increase actually close to 80% but we'll see that later on. Okay, so this is the effect of alumacroclada on stem cells.